too much awkward silence here. All right, amen. It is good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. We have a special guest with us, uh, Pastor Robinson Thompson. Am I saying that right? Uh, he is from, he is a, a, a missionary in India, and uh, we've actually been texting. I found out about him originally from my son. Um, my wife had told me she actually got to hear you in Odessa, and, uh, and so he is actually in Port Angeles right now, correct? And I'm sorry, brother, your name? Dave Stevenson. Dave Stevenson. So he is the pastor up in Port Angeles. Uh, I, we have known of each other for a lot of years. Our wives are actually know each other a lot better because of ladies' retreats and things like that. So he actually drove him down and is driving him back up there tonight. So we are very thankful for you guys coming. And uh, so, brother, if you'd come, if you'd challenge us, preach to us, I believe he's got a presentation first. So if you just come and introduce yourself, and then we can do that, and then you can preach. Thank you for being here, brother. I appreciate it. Okay, you can just turn it over to me at the end. Okay. Um... I want to thank the Lord for this uh, great opportunity in my life to be here tonight. Uh, before I uh, get into the video, I would like to share about, uh, about myself and also about the ministry uh, in India. Uh, I didn't know that uh, uh, I met a pastor's wife at the Bible Baptist Church in Odessa. Uh, I, I, uh, your wife gave me a, a, a church track. I kept it for a long time in, uh, in the Bible, but when I came here, uh, I lost it. <laughs> uh, because when I was there, she said, uh, when you come to Washington, you, you, you ride to the church. Uh, I remember that, I kept it there, but uh, then I, somehow I went into the internet, I was uh, collecting all the emails and I was trying to send uh, uh, some uh, letters to some churches for some opening. Um, so I didn't know that uh, it was, uh, uh, I mean, Pastor, I forgot his pastor's name, Patrick's uh, 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 church, it's here. But anyway, I thank the Lord for everything. Uh, we live in a small world, right? You know? <laughs> um, I just wanted to share a small story tonight. Um, one day, uh, there was a king. He wanted to find a wife uh, for a uh, husband for his daughter. I'm sorry. I hope you will understand my English. Did you? <laughs> okay. This um, uh, king wanted to find a uh, a husband for his daughter. You know about king. You know. Uh, Someone who wants to marry the king's daughter has to be smart and uh, really handsome and everything on the top. So uh, uh, the king sent the word around uh, the country and many young men wanted to marry. Actually, you know, they know that if they marry that girl, uh, they're going to be the next king, uh, you know, free. I mean, Without paying anything, you are going to you're going to go uh, to be in power. So uh, there are a lot of men who wanted to come and marry this uh, 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 this girl. So so one day the king said, "Okay, you, those who like to marry my wife, I mean, sorry, marry my daughter, uh, you have to uh, come in that certain day uh, into the palace, and uh, I'm going to tell you something that you have to do it." Um, uh, so, so the day have arrived, and all the men from that area, that country, came there into the palace, wanted to marry that, uh, ma uh, uh, to marry the, uh, his uh, daughter, over there at present there. Uh, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they thought hey, everything will be easy. You know, just go there, and uh, the smartest one, the king, wanna look like this. Oh, okay, you're gonna marry. It's gonna be like that. Uh, they all thought like that. But uh, as soon as they all came into the palace, the king took them in front of a pool, to a pool. Uh, so they were wondering, why the king doing like this? 
Um, then the kings told them to go and stand on the other side and the, the, the daughter and everyone on the other side. And the king said, whoever going to like to marry my daughter, uh, you have to stand there. As soon as you hear the, uh, a sound or of a trumpet or something, and you have to jump into the pool and, and you have to swim across the pool. And whoever comes first on the other side, going to marry my daughter. All the men said, oh, it's easy for me. Uh, you know, I'm going to do it. And they were standing there. Then all of a sudden the king said, secondly, but one thing, you have to remember that inside the pool, there are a lot of crocodiles are there. <laughs> <laughs> so all the young men were standing there. They were kind of like standing like, oh, man, I'm not going to uh, lose my life for just for this. You know? And all of a sudden, everybody was looking around and everything was quiet. All of a sudden, they hear somebody jumping into the, the pool. Then all, then all of a sudden, everybody was watching. They, he was making all the noise and, I mean, doing all the hard work. And somehow, he managed to come across the pool. Then all of a sudden, the, man, uh, the king was very happy. Uh, he ran across the other side and he went and uh, uh, hold the, uh, his hand and said, Oh, young man, uh, you are so brave. You are so, uh, I mean, you are uh, good enough to marry my daughter. How did you do this? And are you ready to marry uh, my daughter? Then this man said, King, I am not ready to marry your wa uh, daughter. I'm not, uh, I, I'm not worried about anything. I wanted to know who pushed me into the water. <laughs> uh, you know, I hope you understand what I was trying to say. You know, uh, the souls have and the need have pushed us into this great ministry uh, in India. Uh, I wanted to share that. Uh, you will we'll see about the ministry uh, in the video. Uh, my dad, Pastor Thagadi L. Thompson, started the work in 1992. Uh, with God's help, uh, we were able to start uh, uh, more than 55 Baptist churches around in, in India. Uh, when we say about churches, it's not about a big complex or big buildings. It's a small uh, a, a walls where people can just come and sit on the floor or in the chairs and do worship. But we thank the Lord that God has enabled us to do all these things uh, for his glory. Uh, I had the privilege of studying here at Heartland Baptist Bible College and uh, after that uh, my father when he passed away I uh, you know just like pushed me into the ministry uh, but I uh, like Paul says uh, I count faithful I mean I thank the Lord for counting me faithful and putting me into the ministry uh, so I want you to pray for us uh, pray for the ministry one of the main reason I'm here is for our Bible college. Uh, we have a different, you know, India, in India there are 28 main languages and 800 dialects we speak. Uh, in, another main, in one other word, there are, uh, what do you call it, every state, uh, different languages. Uh, one of the great <laughs> need is uh, 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 to reach the billions of people is to train the nationals. Um, so I have a special prayer request uh, for you to pray uh, to completion of our Bible college and uh, the needs for that especially pray for us and uh, all the other ministries you will be in shortly you will with, you'll be able to watch in the video uh, you know even I'm saying is uh, my English is little uh, what do you call it? Uh, hard to understand but you'll be able to uh, see it in the uh, in the video and if you have any questions regarding the ministry or about India right after the video I'll be able to uh, what do you call uh, uh, give you a few minutes to ask some questions uh, before we get into the word of God uh, let's watch the video thank you welcome to biblical Baptist Church Ministries headquartered in Kerala India India geographically is the seventh largest country in the world it is the second most popular country in the world with the 1 billion 250 million people 85 percentage are Hindus 11 percentage are Muslims and only 3 percentage are Christians because of the dominant Hindu beliefs India is noted for its caste 
or class system. The lowest and poorest class are the untouchables and number 300 million. The next class upward are the backward classes and they numbered 400 million. The privileged class ruled the country and possessed the wealth of the country and numbered over 300 million. They possess privileges others do not. Also since the bulk of the India's population is Hindu, the government does not allow any foreign missionaries in the country. Hindu believe in reincarnation, spirit worship, worship of many gods, worship of all kinds of idols, and worship of all animals. For instance, the monkey, the snake, and the cow are all considered sacred. The radical Hindus persecute anyone calling themselves Christians. In some states, conversion to Christianity is prohibited by law. As a result, many of the local Christians have been attacked, beaten and killed. When a person receives Christ as their savior, the other family members tend to reject the born-again Christians. The Biblical Baptist Church Ministry was established by Thagadiel Thompson in 1992. In 2019, August, Pastor Thagadiel Thompson went to be with the Lord and now Pastor Robinson Thompson is the President of Biblical Baptist Church Ministries in Kerala, India. Although the Baptist churches are not known by most in India, Biblical Baptist Church has been enabled to establish more than 55 Baptist churches throughout the country of India. They are sponsored by Baptist Evangelistic Missionary Association in Columbus, Ohio. There are 28 main languages and 800 dialects spoken in India. So Pastor Robinson's vision is to have churches in every language area throughout the country. They need workers and they need missionaries to fulfill their vision. So they establish a Bible college. Right now, the students enrolled represent 18 different language groups. They like to have more students so they can reach all tribes and all language group. Some of the families have rejected the students once the students declare Jesus as their savior. The students want to serve the Lord and come anyway. The school provides accommodation and food free which is cost about $45 or above and ask the students to pay 200 rupees or four dollars a month. Some of the poorest students can't even afford that but in order to allow the students to study the Word of God and prepare them to go out and start another church they still admit their poorest student. Biblical Baptist Church care for the needy there are millions of children are uncared for, starving and dying of sickness throughout in India. The church recognizes they need comfort as many of these children as possible. And they now have children are taken care of in different places. And praying for the ability to take care of many more. In addition to these programs, the church publish and distribute gospel tracts. They distribute thousands of Bible. They have an active ladies ministry. They hold crusade. 
they hold vacation bible school they have outreach program they hold social activities they provide youth ministry they have gospel team program and they build church buildings in conjunction with church planting the needs of biblical baptist church ministries are many first they need your prayers pray for the safety of traveling in this vast country as well as safety from the attack of radical hindus also pray for the direction in continuing in building program in addition they need your financial commitment in several areas one is the building of permanent building for the new churches that now meets in the vast huts or in a rented homes the cost of each one of these buildings cost about $3500 it is also cost $80 per month to support each pioneer worker they need funds to expand the bible college more classroom buildings men and women dormitories book for the library and computer for the college it will cost about $80000 they would also like to build an orphanage for the children the cost of the land and the building will be around $35000 although the needs are many god is providing a tremendous increase in souls the fields are truly white ready to harvest won't you join biblical baptist church praying giving and reaching souls for christ through this thriving ministry in the vast country of india Anybody have any questions regarding the ministry? Yes, sir. How many of the languages do you speak? There's like 800. Um, God, okay. So can you communicate with everybody on all the different No. Um, it's like a, a English is our business language, trade language. Uh, we have a, uh, our own language. Um, it's called Malayalam. and the national language is hindi which i don't know our national <laughs> but you learn that in school just learn the the, the textbook um, but i can read but you don't use it um, then we have english so it's like uh, uh, in my state or in any other states in, uh, you are, you learn your national language i mean you are your native language english and national language which is hindi only comes as the third language um so um but if you most of the languages in south india especially are almost similar um so you can understand little bit little bit but the writings and everything is really different so it's very hard to understand hard to read um but it's little bit but it's uh you know it's hard and uh, most of the time you see two people are standing means somebody is interpreting the uh, the message or whatever you're saying uh, even if i have to go to some other state i have to speak in english so uh, they have to translate so the translator will understand english and he will translate it into uh, to to his language uh, so that's how to so one of the good thing is everyone in schools they will have a, a basic understanding of english then our national language yes sir are are you mostly funded from like the states and countries outside or are you funded mostly from i mean 4 dollars a month you know seems crazy 
for a student to be able to we go have to college. Outside means uh, you, what do you mean? I mean, I didn't understand. Um, you're funding for your ministries, like you guys are trying to buy a PA system. Are you funded mostly from like American? Yes, sir. Or are you able to self-sustain from the people there? It seems. No, we, it's uh, especially with the religion and all those things. Um, it's our people are not capable of, uh, uh, what do you call, taking care of the ministry, but we are teaching them. Um, but uh, in order to, uh, even our church, most of the churches are helped by, uh, by one of the churches or uh, from here. So we help them with the, uh, the mission church, we will help them with the building and we tell them if all the other things, if you want to go forward and if you want to stand for a long time, uh, you have to take care of it. So we just only build the building and from there, it maybe it takes years for them to uh, have a, a, a light system comes or a fan or PA system or, or whatever. It takes time, but it's their responsibility. Somehow they have to, uh, you know, though they don't have most of our believers are uh, like a farmers, they work for the day. Uh, like if they work there today, they have the money for the food for today. Uh, so, uh, so we uh, uh, we uh, we work with especially because I am from a low caste. Uh, our, I'm working with the low caste people. Um, so all our people are from low caste. Um, so they are not in what do you call? You are on the what do you call on the top status. Well, it's financially, uh, so we are with law. So. Yes. What version of the Bible did they hand out? Well, we have the translation of the what do you call the KJB Bible, you know, the, but in my language. <laughs> yes. Anybody? Yes, sir. How common is it to? have crowds going to be Christians in the public like saw on the video. It's common nowadays, especially with the, um, the current uh, government is not favored with all the Christian works. Uh, they are against uh, works. They use religion as a way to get into power. Um, so in order to please their devotees or voters, you know, they have to. Uh, they say that this is a Hindu country. Uh, I'm really careful with uh, when it's go online. Um, uh, they say it's a it's a Christian country. I mean, I mean they say it's a it's a it's a Hindu country. Uh, we have our own religion. We don't any we don't need any another religion from outside. Um, and they say that all the other religions are taking our people and our beliefs, our culture, and all our heritage uh, from us. We must stop it. Um, so. Uh, in order for that, uh, they they cut the, the the what do you call the financial finance coming from overseas. They cut even like I said, no no. Uh, you, you heard in the in the video, I mean the the presentation that no foreign missionaries are allowed. Most of the missionaries comes as a tourist or some other ways they come into the ministry mm -hmm. because they don't want to do anything with the foreigners because they want to completely uh, make a Hindu nation. Especially the current government, they are going towards that um, uh, problem. You see a lot of uh, persecutions just recently started. Um, churches were burned down, people were beaten. And, and one of the thing, if you search that, that videos in the, in, in the YouTube, you will not find it. They have cleared it, everything, because it was spread all over. And um, I mean, in a, when it happened, uh, you know, even from the United States, the, the president, I believe, they, he also uh, talked about the issues. Then they realized that the issue went all over the world. They clear all the videos and everything from the internet. If you search, no problem in India, but there are a lot of things are happening without, you know, nobody knows. It. There are a lot of persecutions uh, happening in India. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, how, how soon, uh, I know you guys want, want to make an orphanage, uh, how soon do you hope to 
how to be able to do that? Um, the, the problem is uh, you need to find a, uh, find, try to find the funds for that. Um, I have a, uh, we have a piece of land next to us, uh, just near to us, uh, which will be easy for us to, uh, what do you call it? We had two orphanages. Uh, we rented two orphanages, one f for the boys and one for the girls. Uh, but with uh, new rules and regulations, uh, you know, to have uh, in a rented place and also s with all the, you know, formalities, you need to have a place and things like that. Um, we had to stop it. But we are being keep helping the students in different places through our children's ministry. But if we could buy a land, uh, there's a land near to us. Uh, if we are able to buy it, we'll be able to build a, a facilities there so uh, we can run the uh, what do you call our children's ministry there. At the moment, just because of the land and you know, there was no place for us to rent, I mean, it's not allowed to rent, we, uh, we don't have the students in, in, in the campus, but we are taking care uh, through our children's ministry. We conduct, we go to a village, we conduct the children's club there, and the, the kids all come there, and we give them food, and we give them uh, like a study material, educational materials, and blankets and things and some other things. Uh, we help them with their education and things like that. So that's what we've been doing right now at the moment. No. Okay, the time is going. I know it's almost, uh, time is over, but uh, let's turn our Bibles to um, uh, Matthew chapter 20, uh, Matthew chapter 25, I'll, I'll make it maybe, this, is, this will be the shortest message that you ever heard from this pulpit. <laughs> Matthew chapter 25, verse um, 14 through 18, uh, and also verse 26. Just because of the time, I'm not going to read uh, uh, the passage uh, you can uh, uh, read uh, when you are uh, when you go home or some other times um, but uh, you know the story what is uh, talk, talking uh, uh, here um, today I title my tonight I my title my message um, are you digging or adding uh, you know the story it's talk about a man uh, a master uh, called three of his uh, servants and give them, give them uh, each one gave them different talents. Uh, the one he gave five, two, and one. And uh, then we see that in this chapter that he took a journey uh, to a far country. And we see that the, 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 the master uh, believed these three are faithful and they will uh, add or they will faithful to the things that he has given uh, to them. And he has given to each one in a different way. Uh, I wanted to uh, share with you uh, tonight the, what will be the mentality of the servants who receive the, uh, the, ta uh, the three talents. In, 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 uh, uh, in, uh, uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at the life of uh, two people, the ones who received two, and the ones who received five, uh, you know, they were uh, really faithful uh, in, in their, uh, uh, whatever they have received. Because, you know, one thing they have realized that uh, in their life, you know, whatever the master has given to us, it is not because of their strength, it is not because of who they are, it is not because they could have it, it is only because the master has count them faithful and they he believed in them that they will take care of the things that he has given in to them. So they believe that the ma my master believed in me, my master have faith in me and therefore I must have, be, uh, I must be faithful to him and I must, I wanted to add to, uh, to whatever he has given to me. 
But on the other side, we can see that uh, they were not, uh, 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 not only they were faithful, but also they had a desire to add to the things they have received. They thought, man, uh, this is so much God, uh, this master has given to me. I didn't have, I am not deserved to it, but I wanted to not only see the same way it is I have received. I wanted to see it, uh, it's growing. I wanted to see it's uh, spreading around. I, I wanted to see it's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gaining a lot of things uh, out of, a lot of blessings out of that, that talent that I have received. Also, oh, they have faith. Uh, faithfulness not only faithfulness they also had a desire to see the thing is growing dear people let me say this thing tonight and I will close tonight you know God has given us the talent Lord has given us many things in our life you know you are we are not worthy of any of those things to to have it you know the life that God has given to us the the, the strength God has given to us the the, the abilities the, the money and, and 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 all the things you could count it that is, is the, the, the all the things in your hand it is not yours just because you have the power it is from God God has given to you. You know why is he not giving you simply those things in your life? He wanted to see it is growing, it is growing, it is growing, it is growing. You wanted to see a lot of things in your life. Dear people, I, I, I will close here. I have a lot of things to say about this chapter, but the time is uh, uh, just going, low, uh, uh, it's going uh, over. Uh, the, you see that uh, they were faithful in whatever they have received. I will, let me ask you this thing, question. Are you faithful in uh, uh, the, the things God has given in your life? Are you faithful with your, the, the life that God has given to you? Are you faithful with the money uh, that God has given to you? Are you faithful with uh, uh, the family, the strength, and all the things you have? Maybe you can live the way you want, but I don't think I, want, I wanted to tell you, one day the master is going to come back and he's going to ask for accountability. Faithfulness. Not only that, they had a desire to make it bigger. On the other thing, on the other side, uh, you see that one man, he didn't do anything at all. Rather, he went and dig. <laughs> I was, uh, the day was speaking and they said that I don't know how much time he took time to dig. He wanted to make sure that master will come back and he was going to ask. So I must keep the thing really deep. And he was looking around, you know, oh, anybody seeing <laughs> how hard work he took to do that thing. And the uh, other day I was saying like this, we do anything not to do anything. <laughs> you do anything? Not to do anything. This man didn't do what he's supposed to do. Let me say, are you working for the Lord? Are you faithful with the talent that you have received? If not, one day the, the master will come. Master knows everything, okay? Master knows. Today we were talking about the pastor said that he knew that man, that's why he only gave one. <laughs> he knew. You know, we are always looking for promotions, or something bigger in our life. But we don't want to do anything. When I was in Bible college, my teachers told me like this, that I still there, I remember. Simple things are simple things. But faithfulness with the simple things are bigger things. Yeah. Are you faithful in your life? Let me close here. If you faithful, Moses was a weak person, but God used him. Peter had a pride in his life, but when he gave everything to God, we see that as he walked 
people were healed. The change. But if you give your life to God, there are many wonderful things God can be done through your life. Let's pray. And pastor will come. Let's bow our head. your goodness and your grace. Thank you, Lord, for bringing a message, Lord, that we needed tonight. I pray, Father, that you would help us to be the people that you've called us to be. And Lord, as we've give, been given so many gifts, so many talents, I pray, Father, that we would use them for your honor and your glory. Lord, we give you the praise, the honor, in Jesus' name. Amen. As we consider tonight what we've heard, a couple takeaways that I don't think I've ever really considered when I've heard this portion of scripture. The fact that God does believe in you, even when you don't deserve it, that blows me away. That God believes in you. We look at this portion of scripture, there's a warning that comes before he talks about these talents. He says, watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country which called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. You realize today as we sit here, I, years ago I heard a missions conference, a man say that a missions conference at a church is just a church, is business meeting deciding the fate of the world. And I, I thought, you know, it really is, it, it really is. God's people coming together and deciding what they're going to do to win souls around the world. But I'll, I'll tell you, I think the American problem that we see today, and it's probably not uniquely ours, but it sure seems like it in this country, is, is that we are so busy digging. <laughs> We're so busy digging to bury the talent that we don't ever use the talent. I've watched so many people bury their talents and their gifts, and God never gets use of them. Their bosses get use of them. Their, their, their managers, their, their, their homes, their, uh, all the things around them get full use of their talents and their abilities, but so oftentimes God gets robbed. And listen, Christian, God believes in you. What are we gonna do for the cause of Christ? Because that warning should just echo in your ears. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. What are you wasting your time doing? It's time to serve God. It's time to give lives to Him. Let's all stand together as we sing the invitation tonight. If the Holy Spirit has spoke to your heart, the altars are open. Come as we sing. Bless me not, O gentle Savior.
Very good having you tonight. And one of the things that has always bothered me about modern day missions is that we send an American over and, and imagine tonight, and brother, you speak good English, but it's not always easy to understand. And imagine how people from his country feel when Americans are constantly sending over American missionaries and they're having a hard time understanding them. And here we've got a built-in opportunity to support what we want to see happen in another country, a national. Now, how many in here would be willing tonight to commit once a month to give $20 to him. How many would be willing to do that? That's enough if that's enough to support you. So if we would be I'm I'm asking you to keep that commitment, just add it to your missions and we'll go ahead and take him on as one of our missionaries. So I hope that we made the trip worth it and uh for you tonight and um we'll give you a love offering tonight as well. But um it is also good to have uh, Brother um, uh, Stevenson uh, from Grace Baptist Church. I was trying to remember the name of his church when I was up here, and then I stumbled over his name. But Brother Stevenson, it is good. Thank you. He drove all the way from Port Angeles, and I make that trip all the time. That is a long way. It's at least three hours that you guys drove, maybe more tonight. So, um, you know, we're going to give you a love offering for coming. Yeah, we are tonight. Just for coming down here and doing that. And um, if you guys want, we'll put you up in a hotel room th tonight oh, yeah. if you guys yeah, like yeah. to do that. But we'll at least give you, we're going to give you both a love offering tonight. So thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing him. I needed that. Uh, you know, I think that's one of the first times that I've ever heard a missionary that actually, not only did he keep his word, we're out five minutes early. <laughs> That's a red letter day in Longview Bible Baptist Church, let me tell you. But, uh, but two, um, you know, your perspective on that portion of scripture was so good. And uh, I've, I, I got to admit, I've been doing a lot of digging in my own life. And, uh, and, and it, it's good. So we're going to go ahead and take you on our church already. We have enough people that said that they would give a little extra to support you. So thank you for coming tonight. We appreciate it. We're going to be praying for that. And we hope that um, I'll give you our information. Keep us updated. And uh, we got yours. So if we need any more information to send you checks, let me know. And we'll get that taken care of as well. But uh, thank you for being here tonight. Brother, I'm going to ask you, Brother Stevenson, would you go ahead and close us in prayer tonight? Father, we take the option we have to come to hear. We pray, Father, that we take the message with us this week, that we apply it to our lives. We may be a light that shines brightly in the midst of this darkness. Father, help us. Give us the words that we need to speak from your word that will overcome the enemy. And we can be an overcomer and have victory on a daily basis. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Amen. Amen.